Hey everybody, welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Joining me in the studio, Dan Smith with Vale Mountain Rescue. Dan, it's uh, Good morning. I haven't had a chance to see you all winter. Oh, I've been out been on the hill every things. day. Oh, that's disgusting. I know. <laughs> and I've always enjoyed speaking I'll, with you. We always have, I'm always learning stuff from you, whether it's <laughs> you stuff about life about or things that I just shouldn't do. <laughs> You always have this good information, but um, Dan, directly involved with Vail Mountain Rescue year-round. We are in the middle of uh, wintertime still, springtime, and what I want to start with is, I guess, you focus a lot on, on rescues, backcountry rescues. You deal with a lot of uh, avalanche victims and avalanche scenarios. Fortunately, not this year yet. So, yeah, so let's talk about that. I mean, our snowpack is different. I think we're at what are we at, 84% something statewide, something like yeah. that? And we're at about 70-something, 70 70. I think, in our But, area. I mean, there were times when we had some avalanche danger oh. in January and February. But tell me more about like, you what have, it's like compared to last year. Snowpack doesn't necessarily, uh, low snowpack doesn't mean no avalanche danger. No, exactly. But you need three things for an avalanche. What's that? you got to have snow, otherwise nothing's going to go. And you go. don't need a lot of snow, no. you just need you snow. Just need, well, you need some snow that's it's kind of heavy. You need a slope. Now, if, if a slope's like this, it's never going to slide because it slides all the time. You're not going to worry about that. It's like this, probably not going to slide. Right about this, right about 30 degrees, plus or minus some. You need that slope to get some velocity in the avalanche, and you need a trigger. Something's got to happen. That snow landed there. It's sitting there. Now, eventually, its own weight can be a trigger, and it'll slide spontaneously. Sure. But if it's sitting there waiting, and there's a rock, which kind of breaks up the cohesiveness of the snow, and you cut across under that rock, it's going to go. There's a one and only one way to have a 100% chance of survival in an avalanche. Don't be in it. Don't be in it is right. Uh, most people who are deceased as a result of avalanches, 70% of them are blunt force trauma because when the snow slides and you slide, everything in that snow is sliding. Rocks, logs, snow machines, other people's skis. Yeah. And uh, you get hit in the head pretty easy. Uh, we haven't had any this year yet, emphasis on the word yet, right. uh, that we've had to work. There have been hundreds in the state and hundreds in the county that were unobserved. There are places that slide three or four times a winter and nobody sees them. You're also, you, Vail Mountain Rescue, you're a lot of snowmobile rescues in the backcountry also, not just skiers and avalanches, but a lot of other things. Uh, snowmobile versus tree seems yeah. to be very really? popular okay. this year. Uh, snowmobile versus uh, law of gravity is, is pretty good too. Uh, they come up on a ridge and they go over the top and they don't know what's on the other side. And if it's a cliff, they drop real fast. If it's uh, a lot steeper, then the snow machine starts to do all sorts of wiggly things. And these are people who rented the machine and maybe it's the third time they've been on one in their life. Right. Uh, we had one that did that up a machine gun ridge here a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and uh, one of our guys happened to be up there and walked them out. But it was, machine was still down there till they got there the next day and well, recovered it's, it. It's pretty handy if you don't ride a snowmobile very often, you don't know this. Your, your inclination by accident is to grab that grip. Absolutely. And then the throttle's right there and then you accelerate by accident and then it's too late. We have to take a quick break. You're gonna stick around, we got more information. No We're gonna go to Ashley with the weather forecast first and then we have more with Dan Smith.